No, we're not waiting for JP. Let's okay. go. I'm promoting glitter. All right, we are at the August 8th, 2024 regular Village Council meeting. It is 7.35 p.m. We will start with roll call. And we have Councilperson Grant. Here. Councilperson Martin. Hey. Councilperson McNamara. Present. Councilperson Cross. Present. Councilperson Passion. Here. And Council President Cameron. Here. All right. Next, we have a Pledge of Allegiance. Ah. <coughs> oh, to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Next, we will move to the meeting minutes. Do we, do we have a motion to approve that? Oh my goodness. July 18th, 2024, work session minutes. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? And any abstentions? Do we have a motion to approve the July 25th, 2024 committee as a whole minutes? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? And any abstentions? All right, a motion to approve the July 25th, 2024 council meeting minutes. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? and any abstentions. Next, we have a motion to approve the August 1st, 2024 work session minutes. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? And any abstentions? Do we have to abstain if we're absent? Yeah, you no. should. Because I wasn't here? Yeah, you should abstain if you're absent. Yeah. You can. What if you listen to the them? meeting and I did the thing? What's I did that. that. Well, when I'm absent, I do listen to the thing. And That'll be okay. You can do that. Then. Yeah. I do my homework. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jesse. Is it permissible to move to approve like in block or you know, in mass? No, they made me do it individually last okay. time. I agree with you. I tried. Okay. Yeah. Back I off. No. I know, right? Um, all right. Next, we will move to our village official reports, and we will start with Chief Matt Delp. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, I've submitted a copy of my report. Hopefully you all received that. Um, the only thing additional that I would add at this time is that uh, we did have an issue with our king uh, that uh, um, got sick and needed some surgery. Uh, uh, but he's been fine and expected to come back into service on Tuesday. All right. Does anybody have any questions for Chief? All right, next we will move to our fiscal officer, Mr. Jeffrey Wilczek. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, June monthly report has been emailed this afternoon to all council members and it will be posted to the website the next day or so. Uh, income tax collections through the end of July are up 8.8%, which I'm glad to see, but still I will exercise caution as to where we're headed with that. Uh, I don't have additional information on the delinquency letters that Rita, the Regional Income Tax Authority, has sent out, but hopefully next meeting I will have some information on that one. Uh, to help draw more attention to our need to improve the collection of income tax, we added to our sign out front, have you paid your village income tax, question mark, and then it references back to our website where we have on the main page button for income tax and it takes you to a page that gives you the reference to regional income tax agency that collects our tax for us and how to get a hold of them. Okay. Uh, and that's in the matter All right. Does anybody have any questions? All right. Next we will move to our engineer's report and um, Mike always gives me an update each Time. This one's pretty short, so I'll go ahead and just kind of read through this one really quick, but it is in the packet, and you can find this online um, in the packet. Task order number 20 is the 2022 Storm Sewer Improvement Project. Um, they met with a contractor on July 25th to review the punch list for the work in their scope and to discuss two additional work items. We need to review the punch list work, and assuming everything is complete, they will move towards closing out the project. Task order number 27 and 28 is the 2023 Roadway Improvement Project. Um, they Organized and attended the pre-construction meeting on July 24th. Um, this is the Maplewood Drive 
The contractor intends to begin work, um, which did happen on August 5th, and the construction should last approximately three weeks, weather depending. Um, and they are also coordinating with a grant writer for additional funding uh, with the OPWC funding application. Task order number 30 is the maintenance building. They continue to do the detailed design and they anticipate advertising this project this month. Task order number 31 is the Lake Improvement Detail Project, Design pro Detail Design Project. Um, they continued coordinating with staff on the potential lake improvements project. And then task order number 32 is the 2024 CCTV analysis. The contractor is currently on hold pending access to a manhole in the Park Lane Court area that is potentially under a large landscaping stone. Um, I did meet with that homeowner and got some documentation signed um, from him and we will be coordinating getting in there and getting those large rocks moved and the contractor will finish up that project. So um, that homeowner came in the day I sent him the paperwork in like an hour. Um, so he's the best. Yeah, absolutely wonderful to get something new like that. So that is his report. Again, it is in the packet. Um, next, we will move to legal. Mr. Jesse Chan. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, no formal report beyond uh, what we talked about in work session, and I'll get together and voice ordinance here as soon as possible. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. All right. Does anybody have any questions for legal? Next, we will move to village planning, Mr. Eric Fisher. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, just uh, all that will be having a here on the 14th. I expect to have my report out by Monday. We received everything from the applicant. We are in contact with the lady here back concerning when the council will be moved to if they're acceptable to the 27th as being proposed to them. Okay. So everyone else on this end is good to go on the 27th. Yes. So. Um, as soon as we hear from you, we will start getting that posted. We will make sure that we announce that at the 14th meeting. Um, it was published for September 5th in the newsletter, so we will do everything that we can, getting postings out there, switch it to the board, um, and get any and all, everybody to make sure that they're fully aware that it has switched. So as soon as you hear from them, definitely let Barb know so we can get that up. Perfect. That's all I have. Is the traffic place. study available? Sorry. Is the traffic study available? It will be available on Monday. Do you have the traffic study? I sure do. Okay. You will get it on Monday when everyone else gets it. There's a process behind it. Is that not, I mean, you guys do, once we get it in our hands, we do the review engineers and then it goes to the engineers. Okay. So why can't council get it at the same time you did? You will get it at the same time on Monday when it gets released. Because they're like a police investigation. We'll get them when we release our report. Great. So. Okay. Alrighty then. Anybody have any questions? All right, next we will move to um, zoning officer's report is in the packet. If anybody has any questions, problems, concerns, you are more than welcome to reach out to him direct or myself. Um, next, we will move to planning and zoning, council person grant. And just to reiterate, next Wednesday, August 14th, planning and zoning is gonna have a conditional use hearing, 7 p.m. at the municipal building. Just to let everybody know, it's a very regimented process. I know that we've been talking about, there's a swearing in, a staff presentation, an applicant presentation, public comment that's limited to three minutes per person, and that's there for them to provide their comment. It's not necessarily a question and answer session, but after that, there will be time where an applicant could potentially respond as well as the staff could respond, but it's not necessarily 100% going to happen. Uh, then the public hearing will close, p and commission will get together, discuss, motion, and vote on the recommendation to council whether to approve, approve with modifications, or recommend their disapproval, and then it will go to council. So that is how I understand it, and uh, just letting people know how the thing will go down. Perfect. And I know this has already been asked from several people, and I'm going to be the bearer of this information. They have never been recorded. They are not going to be live streamed, and it's not because of anything other than the fact that we have never done it. And if I start doing it now, that sets a precedence, and there will be people that are... It will be audio recorded, just like all of them are. This process will be no different than any other hearing that we have. The, and I is, if, is the, and I should say it this way, the council meeting, is that actually considered a council? It will that one be, and I'm asking this to sure. you as the attorney, but planning and zoning will not be because it never has been. 
So would the council one be a straight council meeting recorded and live streamed, or will that one be more of a special hearing that we would never, and maybe we need to, again, it, go back and look what we've always done. Yeah, let's go back and look what we've always done. It's just, it, it is a council meeting, but <laughs> it, it's also a public hearing, and it's solely, a, we're called a special meeting because we have to get certain timelines. Right. So it really is a special meeting, and it's not, for all intents and purposes, a council meeting like tonight. Okay. So I don't think, there's no obligation to do it. To, okay. To, Stream it. You can okay. we'll, we'll record it like we always do. Right. And that's the audio. Okay. So again, I'm only pointing that out because we've had people ask those questions in general, and I'm not going to change the policy or procedure that we've done in the past for anything other than um, the audio will be there. It will be uploaded. It's almost always uploaded within 24 hours. Um, so that's just again just for anybody and everybody that um, we're going to follow our typical procedures. Um, next, we have MPCA Council Person Camera. Uh, MPCA landmark sign. Um, they have uh, some of the topics. They talk about sip and dip. They're talking about increasing the cost of sip and dip uh, for people. They've gone through a couple different scenarios. One is do MPCA members pay one price and non members pay a different price? Hmm. They're just kind of looking through it, but they realize that they need to increase the budget for food and that really the only way of doing that is to increase the cost of getting in the door. So uh, they're discussing it. I don't think it's going to change for this year, but they're starting those discussions. Um, family Fun Night was really uh, a success for them. They felt like it went really well. Um, having food with the price of admission this year uh, seemed to go really well. They pretty much sold out of everything. <coughs> um, and uh, I've heard good things from kids too, so I think everyone enjoyed it. Uh, reminder, the garage sale is September 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Saturday the 21st is the big day, but there's some people set up on Friday, start Friday evening, and some people continue into Sunday. So uh, it is those three days. This is the 50th anniversary of the garage sale, so they're trying to make a big deal about it. Yeah, the shirts. Will there be um, shirts? They're talking about it. I love a shirt. So, I don't know. Uh, trolley ride. So... Trolley rides this year, the cost of renting the trolleys has doubled, so they are going to only rent one trolley, and it's only going to be open for NPCA members this year. Hmm. Um, so, if you are not a member, I suggest you become a member if you want to ride the train. Uh, and then, uh, they're talking about some other activities, things like lunch and learns, where uh, they'll bring in a, um, a speaker to do a topic, and then everyone eats their lunch by listening to the speaker. So. We're talking about trying to do that once a month during off-season months. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe they bring in a master gardener or something like that. I don't know. They talk about different things, uh, different activities and different resources for that. Uh, they're doing, instead of a Halloween um, party this year, they're doing a fall festival instead. So kind of like how they did the spring flame and they combined a whole bunch of things together. Uh, that's what they're doing for the fall festival it is... October 19th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Will the kids be dressing up or anything? I believe so. Okay. Yep. I think the elements of the Halloween party or or what they've done in the past will be there, but they're going to add other fall type activities cool. in there as well. And then, as far as we know, the newsletter deadline is 8:20. So for those submitting to the newsletter, uh, and that's it. All right, that's a lot. Okay. It's summer for now, so it's a busy season. Oh yeah, no, that's, that's awesome. Okay. I like the idea. The 20th. I feel like we just, we just did it like yesterday. <laughs> I'm like, I know. Diane technically wasn't there last night. They were going off the calendar. That they okay, had that no, it makes sense. So. Yeah, perfect. Um, all right, so does anybody have any questions for any of our um, village official reports for anybody. Okay, let's go to our committee as a whole report. We will start with finance. Councilperson Grant. I would only be reiterating what our fiscal officer has already stated in today's committee as a whole meeting. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you for your report. Thank you for your report. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Great job. All right. Um, next, we have safety, and we have Councilperson Passion. Thank you. Uh, Chief Delp has two legislative items that will be discussed in the legislative portion. 
Chief also let us know that the bike patrol is up and running, and especially in the afternoons, and we look forward to seeing our officers on bikes. And I want to remind everyone, first responders night is September 10th, 5.30 to 7.30. Leo will be so proud. Where is it at again? Minerva Park Middle School. Oh, oh, how could you forget? I didn't forget. I was no. just letting people have the opportunity to say it again. Yeah, yes. yeah. it's at the middle school. And it's a the cool place. sign pieces, I believe, are coming in-ish tomorrow. But by Monday, the signs, the beautiful signs that we have, are going to go out in multiple areas. Um, so watch for those because we're super excited. They're awesome. So, And it has the date and the time and the location. Wow. All the cool people are going to be there, too. Don't forget that. I'm not so sure about that. You're, no, I'm just kidding. I'm going to be there. Yeah. Square. Well, We're all going to be, be there. Be there or be square is what Chief Delp is trying to say. Yes, we will all be there. And actually, lots of food trucks, lots of fun. Um, again, a lot of people in here have been working. Um, really hard. A lot of hours putting, you know, emailing and putting things together. And it's not just... Leah's got a little bit of help this year finally, so um, it's going to be a great turnout. We've got lots of different agencies coming, so um, meet some of the local agencies, food trucks, maze, face painters. Helicopter landing? Helicopter, maybe, you never know. We try to get helicopter. It's going to happen. It is going to happen. And if it does, we're just not, it's just going to be a surprise. Hey, we took credit for the flyover a couple years ago. Just do something out there that would cause a That's what happened. <laughs> so, a couple might years be, ago. Might be a flyby. It uh, was. Uh, the, uh, uh, the landing area is on the Yeah, well, this is fine. But a couple years ago, one did fly by, so we did take a little credit for it. So. Oh, wow. Yes, we did. Um, the, uh, I'm getting a text that the sound is not on, our feed is muted. Oh, no, all my jokes. Ah. Wow, you got the update. I didn't. Nobody, nobody cares. Yeah, My wife is watching here. Oh, what? No. Well, clear if you're the only, only. I refresh. Is it now? No. It's still really good. I didn't check. Her. Where is the delay? So I might have to wait a second. Okay, now it's working. All of my jokes wasted. Okay, everybody start all over again. (laughs) No, I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. So, um, we're back live. I'm not sure exactly what happened with audio. We were just told that there's audio, um, but we have audio. These will be up- uploaded tomorrow morning. So if you missed any part of the meeting and you need to go back and listen to it, um, the audio will be uploaded tomorrow. So um, you won't have missed anything um, other than our fun jokes for tonight. You're going to miss out on those. So. Oh, so sad. Yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow. All right. So next, did you have anything else to say? No. <coughs> All right. So next we have legislation. Um, yeah. Your legislation report. Yes, so as previously alluded to, tonight's legislation is a touch on the heavier side. We have an abundance of financial legislation, um, much along the uh, philosophy of Councilperson Grant. I, I could not describe it as well as our fiscal officer did, so tune into the committee as a whole meeting when that is uploaded. Um, we also have some safety stuff coming up, and uh, that is about the majority of it. So Awesome. Okay, anybody have questions for anybody in those three, finance, safety, or legislation? Quick, quick question. Go for I, it. Uh, I don't see... Never mind. <laughs> Found it. I you're, see it. You're welcome. Once it's blind, but now I see it. <laughs> All right, next is my report. Um, actually, I don't have too much. I know we've gone through a lot of, um, we're working on road projects, we're working on a maintenance project, we're working on everything that we've talked about all night long, so um, I really don't have much more than that going on. Um, just, again, thank you for your patience for everybody on, or on Maplewood with that being closed. I know that it's an inconvenience to people, um, but the repairs are much needed, and um, again, I really appreciate it because I'm going to be honest, I've not really heard much of anybody or anything, so, um, and again, I know it's an inconvenience, so we will get that project done as fast as possible, um, and that's that, so we, we hope that it will be done sooner than three weeks, but that remains to be seen. Next, we have citizen comments. Do we have anything? Yay. Yay. Hi. Park Sutton, Minerva Lake Road. Just wanted to thank everybody in the village who contributed to the Minerva Park Panther Pantry Drive. 
We've collected quite a bit of stuff to be taken over, and the police department's going to be taking them over Monday morning. So if you have some stuff around your house you want to donate, we can still take it tomorrow until 3 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for coordinating. <laughs> um, all right. Any other citizen comments? Considering I don't see anyone, <laughs> I'm going to go with no. Um, so let's move to legislation. Thank you, Madam Mayor. All right, like we said, tonight's going to be a bit uh, heavy on the financial stuff, but let's dive on in. We have Ordinance 20-2024, which is an ordinance declaring certain expenditures to be a proper public purpose. And this is just the first reading, so we will go ahead and continue. We have a... Next, we have Ordinance... <coughs> 2021 or 21-2024 and ordinance approving a fund for the payment of compensated absences. Once again, this being first reading, we'll go ahead and continue. We now have ordinance 2022 or 22-2024, an ordinance to make supplemental appropriations for the current expenses of the village of Minerva Park in the year 2024. This is uh, the first reading, and we are motioning to suspend the rules that require three readings for Ordinance 22-2024. All right, any discussion? Hold on, so let me second that. Oh, sorry. Moved and seconded. Who seconded it? Huh? Did somebody second? No. Yeah. I thought you did. I'll no, second I was just it. saying we didn't just, move or second. second it. I'll second it. All right. All right. Take now, is there any discussion? Okay. All right. Councilperson Grant. Aye. Councilperson Koss. Aye. Council President Cameron. Aye. Councilperson Martin. Aye. Councilperson Pasha. Aye. Councilperson McNair. Aye. All right. Having motion to suspend the rule that require three readings, I move for passage of Ordinance 22-2024. Second. Moved and seconded. All right, Councilperson Martin. Aye. Council President Cameron. Aye. Councilperson McNamara. Aye. Councilperson Grant. Aye. Councilperson Koss. Aye. Councilperson Passion. Aye. All right, the motion passes. We now move to resolution 2024-19. This is a resolution authorizing the fiscal officer to pay Groundmaster for work completed without fiscal officer certification and to declare an emergency. Simply put, it looks like we got some work done ahead of the uh, funding being approved. So, the first thing is to a motion to suspend rules requiring three readings. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? <coughs> All right, Council President Cameron. Aye. Council Person Martin? Aye. Council Person Pasha? Aye. Council Person Koss? Aye. Council Person McNamara? Aye. And Council Person Gray? Aye. All right. We now move for passage of 2024, or resolution 2024-19 on an emergent basis, because it's important that we one's bills. Second. All right. Council Person Martin? Aye. Council Person Gray? Aye. Council Person Pasha? Aye. Councilperson Koss? Aye. Councilperson McNamara? Aye. And Councilperson President Cameron? Aye. All right. Motion carries. We now have resolution 2024-20 regarding uh, fund transfers, a resolution authorizing the transfer of residual balances in certain funds. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is those handful of cents in those two or three uh, residual accounts? That's correct. All right. So as this is just the first reading, we will go ahead and continue. We now move to resolution 2024-21. This is a resolution designating Fifth Third Bank Corporation as a depository of public monies of the Village of Minerva Park to provide commercial banking services and to authorize entry into an agreement and to declare an emergency. This is the first reading. Um, however, we do intend to suspend rules, so I motion that we suspend the rules requiring three readings for Resolution 2024-21. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? 
I think just for transparency purposes, this is us having to do this every five years, correct? Mm -hmm. Hasn't been done since 2016. Correct. Not really changing anything, just making sure that we're staying legal. We're getting back in compliance. That's right. Thanks. So, I was about to say that. All sorry right. if I stole your thunder. I didn't mean <laughs> to do that. And we're on the roll call, right? There we go. Okay. All right, let's Councilperson Grant. Aye. Councilperson Passion. Aye. Council President Cameron? Aye. Council Person Koss? Aye. Council Person McNamara? Aye. And Council Person Martin? Aye. All right, I've been suspended rules requiring three readings. I move for passage of resolution 2024-21 on an urgent basis. Seconded. Moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? There does not appear to be. Council Person Koss? Aye. Council, per Council Person Martin? Aye. Council President Cameron? Aye. Councilperson Tasha? Aye. Councilperson Grant? Aye. Councilperson McNamara? Aye. All right. We now move to resolution 2024-22. This is the resolution authorizing the mayor to seek financial assistance via the Ohio Public Works Commission for funding of improvements to Minerva Lake Road and to declare an emergency. As this is the first reading and we intend to move urgently, I, I make a motion to suspend rules requiring three readings. Seconded. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Councilperson Koss? Aye. Councilperson McNamara? Aye. Councilperson Cameron? Aye. Councilperson Hatchel? Aye. All right. Oh, sorry. <coughs> Councilperson Passion. Councilperson Grant. Aye. Council Person Aye. And Councilperson Martin. Aye. And sorry, I missed the president on that. That's, that's what threw me off. Yeah. yeah, that's why I was like, wait, I, I, that one threw me off. Sorry. Aye. All right. Having suspension rules requiring free readings, I move for passage of resolution 2024-22 on emergency basis. Seconded. Moved and seconded. Hang on. I ran out of um, papers because we had too much legislation. <laughs> I'm <laughs> joking. I'll, I'll no, 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 I'll just use the back. Is there any discussion while we're sorting out our papers? Okay, no, you're good. All right, there's no discussion. Let's go ahead and call that roll in the words of former President Brewer. All right, Councilperson Martin. Right. Councilperson Grant. Aye. Councilperson Passion. Aye. Council President Cameron. Aye. Councilperson McNamara? Aye. And Councilperson Kloss? Aye. All right. We now move to resolution 2024-23. This is a resolution accepting, approving, and ratifying the submitted recommendation of the Tax and Senate Review Councils and to declare an emergency. This is the first reading. Jumble here. Um, all right. So, if we are declaring an emergency, um, this is not a financial one, is it? No, that's actually um, from the Turk meeting. Um, as as far as process goes, we are going to pass this and then send this back to the county. This is our final step that to approve um, the Turk. But we're not leaving. The but we're not leaving. Oh, okay, that makes all more sense. I'm yes. like, typically, no, we're we're we have plenty of time to get this document done. All right, cool. Well, in that case, that was the first reading. So we continue. All right. We are now at resolution 2024-24. This is a resolution to declare a decommissioned police cruiser as surplus property and authorize the mayor and fiscal officer to dispose of the property by sale and to declare an emergency. Uh, as we want to get this surplus property sold, I move to suspend rules requiring three readings. Seconded. Moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? I want to point out that we are trying, we are in contact with Columbus Auto Auction and they will be <laughs> selling the vehicle for us. I figured that there was quite the. Uh, we need to finalize some things for them yet. Okay. All right. Moved and seconded for suspension for rules. All right. Council Person Martin? Aye. Council Person Grant? Aye. Council Person Passion? Aye. Council Person Koss? Aye. Council Person McNamara? Aye. Council President Cameron? Aye. All right. Moved and suspended. I now move for uh, 
Uh, I now move for approval of resolution 2024-24 on an emergent basis. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All right. Councilperson Grant. Aye. Councilperson Passion. Aye. Council President Cameron. Aye. Councilperson Koss. Aye. Councilperson McNamara. Aye. And Councilperson Martin. Aye. All right. Moved and passed. That concludes our legislative business for this evening. And that was a lot. That was a lot of that. All right. That was busy. Yes, that was my first time doing it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was sweet. I, I screwed up my first time. You know what? It, it happens. Yes, it happens. This is your first time it happened. Exactly. All right. Um, next, we will move to old business. All right. Next, we will move to new business. Um, I have that. It looks like there's a request to offer an informational tree class through Minerva Flora. What is it? It's in the package. It describes if everybody should it's in the packet. Mm -hmm. The very last thing. <coughs> no. You made it up. I made it up. Tommy to the rescue. Sorry. Okay. Council here. Person Grant to the rescue. Woo. Do they, okay. This class. So what, are, what exactly are we wanting to do? I guess that's my question. Uh, is this just wanting to know right? whether or not we want to let them do it? The class would be offered to Minerva Park residents through the Minerva Flora Committee. It would cover some street trees and some of the trees planted um, by residents during the tree plantings. First half would be a walk on Green Line and Nature Path to look at and discuss 10 possible trees. Second half will be in, in the community building to serve refreshments, teach basic tree knowledge, planning, etc. Maybe trimming would be good. Discuss and answer questions. We would like to tag the trees we discussed, plus maybe more added later for the participants. The tags would tell name of tree as well as other pertinent information. It would be laminated. Also offering GPS coordinates so folks can visit them beyond the class. Um, so the questions are, is it okay if we tag the trees? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, can... Um, so this yeah, is, they're basically sure. asking for permission instead of forgiveness. Yeah, can Village do the laminating? At this point, we're thinking 10 is trees. Um, do we own a laminator? Yes, we do. Okay. Shocking, um, I know. Right? What? Can we fax things too? Wow, we're advanced over here. This is, uh, oh, there's something that... If you can fax, if you can laminate, oh, you can fax. fax. Yeah. I didn't know this thing existed anymore. Yeah. I faxed it. It uses, a, in the medical industry, they use it a lot because it's secure. Yeah. Which it's is secure. No. Oh, it's secure laying on our printer? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As it's long as your office is HIPAA compliant where you reside, everything is fine. As long as you have sign up. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, okay, so I, at this point, can Village do the laminating for 10 trees? That's a, I don't know. I'm yeah. asking, I'm reading yeah. everybody else. Sure. And this kind of reminds me of the work session that <laughs> first where you guys had talked about their ability to remove invasive species and what yeah, I think are the procedures and policies yeah. behind They're how super to helpful. do that. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, we'll laminate some stuff um, for tennis trees. Is it okay to offer GPS coordinates for the trees? These would be offered to the participants and perhaps placed on websites for Minerva Park residents to locate the trees. So it could mean people wandering along sidewalks, looking at street trees and or wandering in the reserves close to the pathway. Sure. I don't see an issue with that. Do you guys? They're just enjoying our trees. Yeah, it's, it's not the type of mm -hmm. yeah. population. It's like Pokemon Go with trees. It's, right. it's yeah. fine. I, I mean, I have no issue with it whatsoever. Yeah. Yes, Assuming we'll street trees yeah. are Connect. Assuming street trees are in the village easement, so is it? It is public land. Okay for us to travel and discuss them. Yeah. No. Yep. Go for it. Anybody Aye. else have any discussion? Anybody disagree with this? No. The Anybody have a problem with trees? David, for? do you have a, a tree problem? No, I have okay. a problem just, with trees. I just wanted to make oh, sure we're yeah. still on the same page. Oh yes, all the data. Uh, the native trees, though. Yes. Okay. Are we okay with this? So we'll get we'll get with them and we'll yeah. talk to them to find out exactly sure, what that they sounds need great. from us. I think um, that's very nice. Thank you. See if we need more lamination paper. Lamin Is there a special paper you use? Well, you use yeah. laminated lam. You the use lamin plastic pieces. That you yeah. I learned how to use it last year and it was super exciting. Why I've never used one before? I'm I'm gonna invent I'll something just. where it's you take your old Kroger bags and then. You know, it would be cool if somebody would do a 3D printed plaque that we could place at that location. So fast. You could probably do that. Can we get a 3D printer? Okay. Inside topics. Never mind. All right. Go ahead. 
It's not going to budget. Is there any more new business? Yeah, any more new business? Does anybody have anything other than a 3D printer? All right. Jeff said no. Move to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Let's go.